Did you know that 88% of women prioritize emotional connection over physical appearance in a long-term relationship? Women don't only care about the way someone looks when they're looking for a partner for life. So how can you use this to your advantage? Well, keep watching because I'm going to show you five small changes that you can implement right now to become attractive to the opposite sex. And guess what? None of them have to do with how you look. First, let's talk about the intricate web of dominance hierarchies. If that term doesn't mean anything to you, then you're watching the right video because dominance hierarchies dictate control for almost everything. Who men choose to date, who women choose to date, why we choose to date specific partners for long-term relationships. And it's not just people who do this, baboons, birds, beetles, and lots of other animals also follow these rules. Hierarchy, which means who's in charge or who's more important, exists in almost every group of animals. It helps those on top get the best food and get the best partners. We can draw insights from academic experts and cultural critics like Robert Sapolsky, E.O. Wilson, or Jordan Peterson. And we start to see a pattern. Dominance in every species often ensures the best resources, protection, and even partners. But for us humans, it's a bit more complicated because we've moved past just needing to be the strongest one. Being liked by others, being good at things, and having money can decide how important we are among people, not just being strong. And one thing that's really important is being good at things. The main factor in being successful in dominance hierarchy and securing your future is competence. We'll discuss this more soon, but here's the big idea. People really like and admire those who are good at what they do, not just those who talk about it. And you can usually tell when somebody is like this. But one way to instantly rise in dominance hierarchies, attract women, and it costs nothing, is mastering open-ended questions. Very few people know how to do this correctly, as these are questions that can't be answered yes or no. For example, instead of asking, did you have a good day? Try, tell me about your favorite part of the day. The best way you can start doing this right now is by starting all your questions with, tell me about, how do you feel about, what kind of, what's your favorite, do you have any, if you remember these, you can make any conversation flow naturally. Women want men they are comfortable around. I'm going to make it even easier for you. Here are some casual, open-ended questions you should use on a first date. Tell me about your favorite place to go for food. How do you feel about traveling? What kind of music do you listen to? What's your favorite way to spend a lazy Sunday afternoon? Do you have any interesting goals or projects you're currently working on? By using open-ended questions, this not only makes you more interesting, but also builds a deeper connection. But how can somebody get really good at understanding these complicated social interactions? There are two powerful attributes that if you learn how to grow them, they will shape your professional and your personal relationships, competence and responsibility. Let's dive deeper. Being competent isn't only about knowing facts, it's about understanding things, using that understanding effectively and being ready to adapt when life comes at you. The application is the key because it is one thing to know, it's another to know how to execute. While competence alone is essential, it's not the only ingredient needed to be attractive. That is where responsibility comes into play. Responsibility means owning up to our actions and learning from our experiences. When you are responsible, it shows that you are strong and mature, which is exactly what women want, which means not being afraid to admit when you make a mistake and you make an effort to improve. If you literally only did that, you would instantly become more desirable to women. So how do you become more competent, more responsible? You can start by setting up proper goal setting tactics. And here's how smart goals. Let's break it down. Instead of saying something like, I'm going to get fit. A smart goal would be lose 10 pounds in two months by jogging three times a week. You see the difference? It's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Smart. And the beauty of smart goals, they give you a clear roadmap. You know exactly what you need to do and by when. 
If you're trying to improve your ability to be responsible by completing tasks and tracking progress, next time you're setting a goal, make it smart. Trust me, it's a game changer. Another interesting note here is that according to a study from Dominican University, and this part is fascinating, individuals who not only wrote down their goals, but also shared them with someone else and sent weekly updates were 33% more successful in achieving those goals over the people who just thought about them. That is a significant difference. So if you're serious about your goals, don't just keep them in your head, write them down, share them, regardless of what others think or say, and keep yourself accountable. You do that and you'll start to act like someone who's well on their way to achieving their goals, which is exactly how you become desirable. Research shows that people are more attracted to individuals who are goal-oriented and competent in what they do. When you focus on your competence and your determination, you are on the right path to become more desirable. And this goes beyond just your physical appearance. Follow this next tip to instantly become more desirable and confident. The one second cure to laziness. Laziness is a habit that compounds day over day and can be hard to break. It's a silent trap. It's when you're coasting, not pushing, not growing. You get lazy, which makes the voice in your head a little bit louder. Suddenly, it's harder to get out of bed, go to the gym, eat healthy. These little habits can have a huge impact. But when we're not paying attention, they can go away quickly. Stay tuned because this tip, I have a challenge for you. But here's the catch. 95% of you won't complete the challenge because to truly become desirable, you have to break out of your comfort zone and push your boundaries. But most of us don't even try. Much like when we drift in our daily routines, we often overlook minor details when we're complacent. For example, how do you smell at any given moment of the day? You barely think about it or maybe it's too expensive. This is why having a great fragrance is something you have to make part of your daily routine to know that you're good to go, to know that you're always smelling great. And with Dossier perfumes, you do just that. It's my go-to fragrance for one reason. They're insanely affordable, but they smell like luxury fragrances. And I get it. Self-care can be tough on the wallet, but when I need a touch of luxury, I reach for one of my Dossier fragrances. Dossier fragrances have the essence of luxury brands, but they come without the luxury brand price tag. Just as scent can change perceptions, breaking away from complacency can redefine your journey. The trick, being more proactive. Proactivity is the art of anticipation. It's looking ahead, preparing for what's to come, and even turning it to your advantage. This is why I love Dossier. I resonate with the brand. They didn't just wait in the wing. They proactively redefined luxury scents, quality, sustainability at a fair pricing, bottles crafted with precision, inspired by the world's most iconic fragrances, but accessible to everyone. Let's pivot into some actionable insights. As promised, this is your challenge. Here are the five crucial actions you must take to achieve transformation. One, go to an open mic night. Take the stage at any local open mic night. It's not about being funny. It's about building confidence and charisma. Two, pick up a sport. Join a pickup game of basketball or any sport at a local gym. This will grow your athleticism, your teamwork skills, and your social skills. Learn continuously. Dive into books and courses regularly. Stay curious and intellectually stimulating. Four, seek feedback. Ask for feedback from peers, from friends, from mentors. It's not just about improvement. It's about being accountable and adaptable. Five, set a challenging goal. Challenge yourself to accomplish something outside of your comfort zone. This will prove to yourself you can conquer anything. Now, let's put this into perspective. Imagine two individuals. One spends six months immersed in video games and the other takes up on my challenge Let's look at the stats. In six months, you'll have confidence. You took up that open mic. You gamified confidence. Whether you were funny or not, you did something 99.9% .9 of people would never do. Athleticism. You've been active at pickup sports. You had intellectual growth. 
you continuously learn across multiple facets. You're more adaptable because you seek feedback. You learned what you could improve and what you had to get better at. I could go on and on, but what is the result? The challenge taker not only becomes 10 times more desirable, but it becomes impressive. You have leveled up in every aspect of life. And then if you took it a step further and had the same level of interest in your own self-care habits, like applying a fragrance, taking care of your grooming, you have now leveled up so much that becoming desirable is an afterthought. Pick up a good fragrance. If you don't have one, check out Dossier perfumes. Like I mentioned, all their fragrances are inspired by iconic fragrances, but they're affordable and they're built to last. So it's a great way to build a collection that you know will have you smelling good every day. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be linked down below. Four, Charisma Killers. Real quick, I want to dive deep into three Charisma Killers that might just be crushing your desirability. Because no matter what I say in this video, if you're doing any one of these, I can't help you. Charisma Killer number one, lack of active listening. We spoke earlier about the importance of open-ended questions, but you have to be able to actively listen to their answers and respond. Picture this, you're on a first date, she's sharing a story with you, but you are on your phone or you're zoning out. That's a huge fail. It's not just about hearing the words, it's about understanding and then engaging. Every response in a conversation is an opportunity to find common ground. So. The next time someone's talking, put the phone away, lock eyes, and show that you're with them every word of the way. Charisma killer number two, negative body language. Your body speaks when you're silent. Crossed arms, diverted eyes, they scream disinterest more than your words. You have to be aware enough of these major body language red flags not to do the lack of eye contact or frequently looking away can suggest disinterest or discomfort. Closed off posture, crossing arms, hunched over shoulders can indicate a lack of engagement. Minimal physical touch. If they avoid physical contact or seem stiff when you touch them, it can be a sign of disinterest. Distraction. Constantly checking their phone, looking around the room, or fidgeting can show that their attention is elsewhere. Short responses. Responding in one word answers or not engaging in conversation can signal disinterest, lack of smiling. If they rarely smile or seem forced when doing so, they may not be enjoying the date. Frequently glancing at the clock. Constantly checking the clock can indicate eagerness for the date to end. So now you know what not to do. How can you use body language to your advantage? Eye contact. Maintain comfortable and natural eye contact to show that you're engaged. Open posture. Keep an open and relaxed posture. This indicates receptiveness. Smiling. You want to smile genuinely and frequently to show warmth. Show that you're actively listening by nodding or providing verbal cues like, I see. That's interesting. Leaning in. Leaning in slightly forward can indicate attentiveness and interest. Charisma killer number three, self-centeredness. Have you ever been stuck in a conversation that left the other person just hearing themselves talk? It is a simple yet powerful principle to always ask more questions and focus less on talking about yourself and truly appreciate the exchange. When we interact with others, it's natural to want to relate what they say to our experiences. However, if this becomes a habit, where you constantly steer the conversation back to yourself, it will become counterproductive. Why? Because it might make the other person feel like you're not genuinely interested in having this conversation with them. Instead, when you ask more questions and actively listen, you show that you truly value their responses. This not only makes the conversation more enjoyable for both parties, but it also demonstrates empathy and consideration. Both qualities are extremely attractive. Dodge these charisma killers and follow this next tip. Mirroring is everything. Emotional intelligence. Some call it the other type of smart. This is probably the most important tip on this list. And here's why. 
Emotional intelligence is a superpower that allows you to know how you and others feel. It's almost like a secret code to connect better with women. It's the bridge between you and the world. Let me give you an example. One of the most important skills you can cultivate to gain emotional intelligence is called mirroring. Mirroring is a potent aspect of emotional intelligence. It's about subtly reflecting back the emotions and actions of the person that you are interacting with. Here's how you do it. You start by observing. Pay close attention to the gestures, expressions, and postures of the woman. Reflection. Subtly mirror those actions in a non-obvious manner. If she leans in, you lean in. Validation. Every once in a while, I want you to verbalize her emotions, whatever she might be feeling or thinking at the time. For example, you seem really passionate about this. This must mean a lot to you. But remember, practice makes perfect. I want you to people watch, not just with the woman that you're interested in, but look at anybody. And then practice subtly implementing the steps that I just mentioned so you get good at being able to mirror people and seem more emotionally intelligent. And that's it. That is how you become desirable. Understanding dominance hierarchy, using smart goals to become competent, being responsible, avoiding complacency, and increasing emotional intelligence will make you irresistible. If you guys want two more videos to continue to level up, I'll leave them right here.